Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about preservation and I am showing you how to store your dry herbs. Today I am storing calendula and echinacea. I am using mason jars to put them in and I will be storing them in my herbal apothecary. And these are excellent for cold and flus in the winter months. You can just prepare them the best way you know how to do it. And then they are also good for boosting your immune system and for helping you just to stay healthy during the winter periods. You can make syrups with them. You can make tea, you can make whatever you wish with it. I like to make oils and hair creams and butters and teas and different things with them. But I like to have them on hand because you know you can't find them in the winter because everything is under the snow and nothing grows. So this is what I am doing in parts of this video today. So this is very very important. If you are new to herbalism, please put a label on all your jars so you would not forget what plant material is inside the jar. I have been doing herbalism for many years since I was a young child so I am very familiar by sight about all the plants that I have in jars and containers I can identify them by sight so if you're new to this please put a label on yours because you wouldn't want to waste all your time collecting all this marvelous amazing plant matter and then you have to throw it out because you don't remember what's inside the jar so please put the label on
welcome to another video and today we are putting away our herbs because it's that time of the year where we need to preserve and store all the things that we have gathered over the summer all the herbs all the spices yes herbs and spices and this and that and the other and I say spices because at this time of the year is where a lot of travel take place and as you travel we tend to buy spices things come from my country as my family travel as they go back and forth you know so I like to put away all my spices dry things that they bring back but most of all I like to you know dry all my herbs that I forage here and so this is what I'm doing as you see in the beginning of the video I was um storing away calendula what else was I storing away yeah calendula as you see in the beginning of the video I was storing away calendula and echinacea so that I have them in my herbal medicine cabinet for the winter because in the winter time you know you need all those medicinal herbs to boost your immune system and to keep you healthy throughout the winter months so you don't catch cold and flu and to just keep your body in a good regulated state so that's what I'm doing so today I have this whole a bunch of stinging nettle that I collected from the back of my barn I throw the seeds there last year and then this year they just came up in abundance so I have loads of stinging nettles and I even I have so much stinging nettles that I have to leave some on the tree and I let them go to seed and I'm going to be sprinkling them in different places on my property later on maybe tomorrow or another day so I can have them growing in different parts because they have kind of taken over my garden behind the barn and <laughs> I will have to move them because they're like covering my roses and some of my beautiful flowers that I have there so I'm going to cut this up and I'm gonna store them for next uh, for during the winter but I just want to tell you about singing nettle I've been using singing nettle for maybe about I don't know about eight years or more now and this is just amazing I love to drink stinging nettle tea with mint that's the best flavor for me that's how I like it and I just put some raw honey with it and it's just amazing so that's what I like to do and stinging nettle is full of nutrition it's good for the liver it's good for the overall health of the body Contain a lot of vitamin nutrients those roots goes deep down into the soil and they're able to pull up minerals and they're able to pull up a lot of nutrients that a lot of other herbs don't pull up but there's a lot of research a lot of studies done on stinging nettles um, and you can go out there and you know do your own research and you would see how very nutritious and how stinging nettle is a power herb so I use that to make salads not salads I use it to make soups I use it to make a powder that I put in my smoothie and I also use it like in the spring when they're just soft and tender I use them uh, to make like a callaloo like so you cook that up and you can eat it with rice and it's very tasty you have a very very unique unique flavor I just like to cook it up with some salt and some butter and it's very very tasty so I like to do that but um, in the winter time I mostly use it for teas and I put it in my smoothies and if you have if you're anemic or anything like that stinging nettle is uh, the plant for you so I'm just gonna store it and I will hopefully in some other videos when I'm making tea or something I will show you all how I make my stinging nettle tea so yeah
지 않은 번호 불러 Am I thinking again? 후회버린 나다 잊으려 해봐도 잘 안돼 Cause you are still on my mind So it's a new day and I'm up bright and early because I want to do some more food preservation. I went out yesterday and I picked some wild apples and some wild plums and today I want to make some plum jam and some apple butter and some apple sauce. So this is what I'm doing. I am removing my jars which I boiled for like 7 minutes and now I'm going to put them to cool on a cloth and then already made my jams and butter and i'm going to let the jars cool a little bit before i add my jams and butters into them
Selfless but gently saying I don't know How to keep on trying It shows Something's changing in me It shows Now I'm highly breathing There's no bad luck Way to go Was that corona Without a call That goes To let's be baby
이건 사랑 맞아 하아. 